Right, it's the 27th of August 2024, and we've just come to St. Botoff's or Boltoff's Church. It's actually the, the name of the place that it's in is Boltoff's, and it's on Annington Lane just outside Stenning. I believe it's one of the oldest churches in, um, in, in West Sussex. It actually does really date back to Saxon days, this church. But the interesting thing is, originally, uh, there was a harbour here. The river to the river Ada, and there's no such no no sign of it now it's diverted so much over the years so there's the church and as you can see there is no sign of any river and certainly no sign of a harbour but historically there was some kind of harbour here as the river Ada came through this area you're going back to when Stenning was obviously a, a busy market town, but uh, it's not that now. As you can see, it's in the parish of Beeding and Bramber with Boltolf's parish church of St. Boltolf. Yeah, 700 years ago, apparently, it was a bustling port here, and um, gradually the river silted up and changed course and uh, it's now history but yeah back in the Tudor times it's funny because I'm not religious as I've said many many times but I do love these old churches um, incredible feeling when I go inside them thinking of all that's gone before so apparently the chancel dates back to Saxon times 100%. I think I'll have a little walk around the building first then we'll go inside and have a have a look at the insides. I don't really know much about the construction of churches but I always thought that this uh, this sort of rectangular taller upright bit at the end was, was something more noted to Norman times so perhaps that was added at a later date this church is cared for by the church's conservation trust this is uh, here's the way you go in but I'm going to go round first as I said Obviously much newer graves out there. So let's have a good look at the building. Some bolt off you. I'll go I'm gonna go right round, then I'm gonna go in, Diane. Twenty sixteen. Eh? Okay. Yeah, they've just planted, well, 2016, a new, a new yew tree in the churchyard here. Apart from an ancient, it's usually ancient yew trees. So let's get over here, we can get a better view. We'll go back the way I've come. It's um, a little bit quicker to the entrance. I have a feeling that somewhere I either read or heard that parts of this date back to the 11th century. And here we are.
Now, as I said, I'm not particularly religious and I don't really know much about how churches are constructed, but I have a feeling this might be the chancel because I assume that's the altar. <laughs> In which case, this does date back to the Saxon times, this particular part of the building. Hmm. Well, that grave looks as if it's 1763, but I imagine that whoever is in here or under here, they probably date back a very long way. This one appears to be 1687. I mean, obviously, anything really old would have been long worn off. 1681. Crikey, can't make that out at all. Right, having had a good look round, I'm pretty certain that that is the chancel and that is the Saxon uh, the period that, that the part of the building that dates back to Saxon times to the 11th century and this wall here although you can't see very much of it at all at one time it uh, had Saxon wall paintings on it but uh, obviously if you want to see Saxon wall paintings in a local church uh, in reasonable condition then it's the one at Hardham that you need to go Hardham just uh, south of Pulborough well that's it and there's Diane waiting patiently for me to finish. And I have now. It's lovely and peaceful out here, but it's incredible to think that one time it was a bustling harbour <laughs> with a river They're running past. Ones, these ones. Eh? New ones. Yeah, yeah. Still in use. I know it doesn't look much, but it's over 1200 years old, or parts of it are over 1200 years old. And I find that fascinating. Anyway, that's it for today. Bye.